Um, another random favorite, or ran random favorite, oh my gosh, what am I talking about? I'm just all over the place right now because it's so late at night. It's not even that late. Hi everyone, so today I have a, another product empties video for you. I don't, I think this is only my second one. Um, I think I did one about a month and a half, two months ago. And I've had my bag of empty containers, bottles, whatever, just sitting next to my makeup drawer. And I decided tonight at almost midnight um, that I just needed to get rid of them because it was just sitting there. And they were just getting, I just, I just felt like I was collecting too many empty containers and I just needed to get rid of it. So I thought I would film this video for you right now. So I have been keeping all of my empties in this, it's a Valentine's Day gift bag. I just randomly found it and thought it looked big enough to keep all of these things. So that's where I was going to put them. The Bath & Body Works sweater weather candle. Um, I don't know if Bath & Body Works still sells their fall scented candles because I know they just put out the winter ones because I just bought them or bought some of them. And, but if they do, and they still have this in stores, I highly recommend getting this because this smelled so good. This was definitely one of my favorites this fall. Um, it says it smelled like eucalyptus, juniper berry, and fresh sage. Sage. Fresh sage. I don't know if it smelled like that. I'm really awful at describing scents, as you know. But, yeah, if they do have it, I would highly recommend you go get it. Um... I would consider repurchasing this if they put it out next year. That's how much I loved it. This next one, I think I talked about in that fall tag video that I did. I'm pretty sure I talked about it. It is the White Barn Cranberry Woods Candle. This is my all-time favorite Bath & Body Works, or my all-time favorite candle scent. Yeah, this is my all-time favorite though, so obviously I would recommend going and getting this from Bath & Body Works. The next candle I have is one that was released, I think this was in the summer collection late spring, early summer, something like that. And it is the Boathouse Row candle. I didn't like this, so um, I finished it just because I didn't want to waste it, and yeah. This next candle I think I talked about in my last empties video is the Mahogany Teak one, which I said smelled really similar to that cologne they spray in Abercrombie, and it's one of my favorites, so I really like it, which is why I have another one of these. So they sell this one all year round, so yeah. Then my last candle, oh, this is another fall one. This is the Autumn Candle from Bath & Body Works, another one of my like go-to fall candle scents from them. I really like this one. This one says it smells like dark pomegranate and red delicious red delicious apple with fir balsam and rich cedar wood. Again, if they still sell the fall scented candles in stores, I would recommend getting this one. So another thing that I used up, I mean there's still a little bit left in it, but not a ton. It's this Palm Olive Fresh Infusions Lemon Thyme Dish Liquid. It's this, it's just dish soap. I don't think you, I haven't seen this in all stores. I think I think they said something like you can only get this at Walmart or something, and I don't shop at Walmart. But if you do, I recommend these. Um, I'm currently using another one right now. I don't remember the scent, but I really like these. Another home type of health, I don't even know, just another product I used up is the One A Day Women's Vitacrave gummies. But I take these just because I like the gummy vitamins better than regular pill vitamins. So yeah, I've been buying these for I think like a year now, so I like them. This is a Trident Fruit Layers Sweet Cherry and Island Island Lime Gum. I got this when I went on a business trip um, to San Diego just because I needed gum when I was at the airport and I see these all the time in drugstores and at the grocery store and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to try it out to see what it tastes like and this was great. I was I thought they were going to taste so weird, but I really like this. It tastes like it tasted like a cherry limeade if you've ever had that drink. It was so good. I, I'm currently eating, I think it's like orchard peach and mango. I think I might have finished that one too. I don't remember, but if you see these in stores, I highly recommend trying out this gum. 
The other thing I used up is my Tied to Go pen. I'm sure you've seen these in stores. Um, I just like having these on hand because you never know when you're gonna get a stain. I just think they're good to carry around. So yeah, I have definitely, I have definitely repurchased this. Okay, so moving on to more beauty products. Um, I finished this Qtex Non Acetone Nail Polish Remover. Um, yeah, I've just al I've always bought this. I've been buying this forever. Um, I didn't buy Qtex when I went to the to the drugstore though. I went on to CVS. I didn't get Qtex. I think I just got the regular CVS brand because it was on sale. Um, one hair care product that I used up that I thought I was never going to use. I thought I was going to have this for so long. Um, is the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray. This. I, I think it did a really good job of protecting my hair whenever I used um, a blow dryer or a curling iron. Yeah, I have one of these at home. Um, and then I was going to repurchase this again because I do really, really like it. This is definitely my favorite heat protectant spray. But I heard um, Cambria from Brie Loves Beauty talk about... Uh, the Paul Mitchell thermal heat protectant spray that's like a heat protectant plus a hairspray. So I decided to try that out. So when I went to Ulta, I ended up not getting this and I ended up getting that one. So I normally would just repurchase this one because this is my favorite. Oh, this goes along with the nail polish removers, but I just used up this CVS cotton balls. Yeah, just cotton balls. I typically just buy generic brand. There was a nice little scarf thread in my eye. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> the issues I'm having in this video are just endless. I just don't know what's going on right now. <sighs> So another thing I used up is the these band-aids, these Hello Kitty band-aids. Um, yeah, I always like having regular plain boring band-aids on hand and some like cartoon kitty one also. So sometimes I get strawberry shortcake, sometimes I get Hello Kitty. Right now I got Mickey Mouse when I went and repurchased them. Um, I also really like getting the Cynthia Raleigh ones because those are just really nice and pretty and I just like the prints on those but yeah, I don't know. They're band-aids, so. Some skincare things. I found these um, when I was at home. I think I got them in a birch box, and it's these Willa Naturals On The Go 10 Gentle Cleansing Lavender Face Tellets. I didn't like these because I don't really like lavender. Yeah, but I would not repurchase these just because I didn't like the scent. I don't know if these come in a different scent, um, but yeah, I wouldn't repurchase these. I have two things from Simple. The first one is the Simple Cleansing Facial Wipes. I talked about these in my last empties video and I talked about how much I really like them. The other Simple product I have is the Simple Eye Makeup Remover and it comes in this bottle and I didn't like this. Um, this says that it's kind to eyes and um... No, this this stung so bad every time I used it. Instead of repurchasing this, um, Simple also makes eye makeup remover wipes, similar to the like regular facial wipes. So I bought those instead, and I really like those. So if you're looking for an eye makeup remover, don't get this one. Get the wipes. Um, another like face thing that I actually used for my lipstick and not for my face is the Basha pink peppermint blotting linens. I actually got these last winter. I saw them at the Sephora. I think they were like five dollars or something and they smelled really good and I actually use these not to, I'm not really, I don't really get oily. So I use these actually when I would apply lipstick. Um, I did not repurchase these because when I went to Sephora they didn't have this one. So I just got regular, I know I got the green tea one I think. Yeah, but I do really like these. Another face thing is this Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. Um, it's the one that go on your nose and you're supposed to take out blackheads. 
Uh, I don't think these worked. I ended up just using like an exfoliator on my face instead. Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend this. Okay, I have these I got as samples from Sephora. It's the Clinique. This is their, it's their three-step system, so I kept it in here. Um, just because eh, they were a little sticky from using it. Um, it was a three-step system, and as you can see, I only have one and a three here. Um, I don't know what I did with two, but I didn't like the second step anyway. I don't know what the second one was, but... I did really like this cleanser, um, it's the the like liquid facial soap, I really liked it, uh, I can't remember, I can't remember if it had a scent, I don't think it did, and then this one is the, this is just the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion, which is the new formula, I like them, would I repurchase them, or would I purchase them, I don't think so, just because... I like what I'm using now. This wasn't a sample. This is like the travel size version of it. It's the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. I just got the travel one because I don't know if you know this, but the full size version of this comes in at a whopping $31 and I am not willing to spend $31 on a hair mask. So clearly even though I, I did really like this, but clearly since I'm kind of complaining about the price, I did not purchase it. This is the CoverGirl Ink It Eyeliners in Black Ink. I talked about this, I think, in one of my videos. I think in my drugstore favorites I talked about this. So obviously it was a favorites video in a drugstore favorites video, so I do really like this. I repurchased it. Highly recommend this if you are looking for something that is long wearing and will not smudge. Okay, so the next product I have is the Anastasia Brow Wiz Eyebrow Pencil in Medium Ash. I really like this product. Um, this one is the old packaging. Since I have since I bought this, they have repurchased it, or repurchased, repackaged it in a black case with um, gold or rose gold printing on this. Um, I do really like this. I did not when I went and repurchased it, I did not get it in medium ash because I found that medium ash was too cool toned for my coloring. I ended up getting it in soft brown, I think. Um, so if you're looking for um, an eyebrow product to use that's really easy, don't have to sharpen it, has the spoolie on the other end, so you have essentially two products in one, I would definitely recommend this um, brow pencil. So these last few things are actually all um, eyelashes. I I haven't been wearing fake eyelashes recently so much, um, but I kind of, um, I want to say that I, I wear them a few times a week. So the first ones I have here are the Revlon Beyond Natural in Natural Defining. I didn't like these. Don't get them. They were awful to use. So hard. Um, you, when I would like take them off of the little case in here, they would just be stick straight. And no matter how many times I like wrapped it around a makeup brush or something with a curve to curve it to help it stick to my um, lash line, it just wouldn't do it. I don't recommend these. The next ones I have are all from Ardell, which is my favorite eyelash brand and the first one I have here is the individual lash in the short it's the flare short black and then just to go along with it I have the again their individual and it's the medium black um okay so I did this is I did really like this I did I like the way it looked what I would do is I would put about um two or three maybe sometimes four of the meat of no, those are these of the medium ones um on my outer like on the outer lash line and then i would put two of the short ones like right in the middle as much as i loved the way it looked on me i don't like how long this took to put on oh i don't like how 
long it says to put on. So I'm just dropping it. Um, I'm sure, I mean, I'm not that great at putting on lashes. I'm sure, I guess, with practice, it would get easier and much faster. But for like, going to work and things, it just took too long in the morning. And yeah, um, I do really like these, though. These are really nice, but just because it took, just because of the length of time it took, I wouldn't, I have not repurchased them. And this is the very last product. It's the Ardell Accent Lashes, um, and it's the, it's number 301. They're just a half strip, so maybe a little less than a half strip, but they really just go on the outer, on the outer part of your eyelashes. Um, and I really, really like these. I have repurchased this. So much easier to handle if you, I think if you're, I think it's easier to handle than um, a full lash strip. So if you're just learning or just wanting to try out lashes, I would recommend getting um, accent ones. Or you could even buy like an Ardell um, full strip and just cut them in half. It'd probably be somewhat similar, not exactly, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so I have repurchased this. I think I repurchased a bunch of these because they were on sale. So yeah. So I hope you guys like this video and kind of got a sense of products that I really like using often every day and products that I tried out and just didn't work out for me so I didn't like them. And yeah, subscribe to my channel and follow my blog, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I will have all the links down below and if you follow my blog starting next Monday the 18th until the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. I will be doing holiday gift guides um, every day, which will kind of disrupt my normal posting schedule, but I'll be doing holiday gift guides on the channel, just getting ready for Hanukkah and Christmas and all the lovely holiday cheerful things. And yeah, I guess that's it. I am going to go to bed now because it's getting kind of late on a Monday night. Um, and yeah, I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye!